Hi, everybody. This is John here. This is Paul. George. And Ringo. And we're very happy to be on your program once again. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest Beatles News Briefs, your home for the latest real, clear Beatles news and information. I'm your host, Steve Marinucci. The sound you just heard was an Egyptian train leaving the station. And Paul McCartney today gave fans another reason to take the Egypt Station train. He announced a very limited box set, the Egypt Station Traveler's Edition, coming in May. The set, housed in an embossed, vintage-looking suitcase and limited to only 3,000, will feature vinyl pressings, additional audio and video performances, a cassette, and paper items related to the album. There will be three unreleased studio tracks, Frank Sinatra's Party, 62nd Street, and an extended version of Who Cares, plus four live tracks from the various live performances he did before the album's release on the set. To get a link to order the set, you have to go to Paul McCartney's website by 9 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. That's 9 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. And the list price? $360, according to a McCartney representative, who told us no comment when we asked if the tracks will be released independently. Get ready, the train is leaving the station. And here's some more Beatle news. A trailer was released this week for a new movie called Yesterday, starring Lily James, Anna de Armas, Kate McKinnon, and Ed Sheeran. The film is about a musician who finds he's the only person in the world who remembers the Beatles. The trailer was posted and quickly went viral, and from what we saw, though, got decidedly mixed reaction. Count us among those who weren't knocked out by the trailer. A new book on Beatles memorabilia, NEMS and the Business of Selling Beatles Merchandise in the U.S., 1964-1966, to by Terry Crane will be released in March. The book covers the approximately 150 licensed items sanctioned by the band's management company that were authorized during the time after the Beatles landed in America and performed on The Ed Sullivan Show. The book features contributions by Beatles memorabilia experts and authors, including Jeff Augsburger, Perry Cox, Jude Sutherland Kessler, Bruce Spicer, Al Sussman, and Piers Hemmingson. Some chart positions from the Billboard issue of February 16th uh, on the Billboard 200 at 165, down from 159 last week is Abbey Road. At 181, down from 173 is the White Album. And at 186, down from 179 is the Beatles' One Album. On the Top Album Sales Chart, at 161, down from 58 is the White Album. At 78, down from 62 is Abbey Road and Egypt Station is off that chart after being up and down on it the past few weeks. Catalog Albums, number 45, down from 43 is Abbey Road. On the vinyl chart at 7, up from 10 is Abbey Road. Top Rock Albums at 32, down from 29 is Abbey Road. 34, down from 32 is the White Album, and staying the same at 35 is the Beatles' One Album. And on the Artist 100, the Beatles are number 60, up from 78. And on February 14, 1979, the self-titled George Harrison album was released. Watch it now. Some of what's streaming out there. Um, the Beatles, Eight Days a Week, The Touring Years, and Good Old Frieda are on Hulu. Uh, the video compilation Beatles 1 and the animated film Yellow Submarine are on Amazon Prime. It was 50 years ago today. The Beatles, Sgt. Pepper and Beyond is on Netflix. And Strange Fruit, The Beatles, The Apple Years is on Tubu. That's T-U-B-I if you're not familiar with it. Albums released this week. As we just mentioned in 1979, the George Harrison album was released uh, February 16th, 1970. Bad Fingers Magic Christian Music came out. And on February 17th, 1975, the John Lennon Rock and Roll album was released. That's it for now. You can catch our shows on fab4radio.com. Thanks, Matt. Beatlesarama.com. Thanks, Pat. And also on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Please join our Beatles News and Information group on Facebook for the latest in the Beatles world. And please check out our That's What I Want Beatles store page on Facebook for gift ideas for yourself or your favorite person. And where you can also find links for both uh, contributing editor Candy Leonard's Beatleness and my Meet a Monkey Davy Jones. 
And we invite you also to join our Beatles Toppermost to the Poppermost message board at abbeyroadproboards.com. Look for our next show and please subscribe. We'll see you then. Till next time, this is Steve Marinucci saying, Be seeing you. that one market fab